and the president is also the projected winner in the state of Missouri. 10 electoral votes, Donald Trump is the projected winner in the state of Missouri. In the state of Pennsylvania, Joe Biden's home state where he was born, 20 electoral votes, he is out to a commanding early lead with 5% of precincts reporting there. I'll have some key race projections out of the battleground state of Ohio, the state that has voted with the presidential election winner for the past five decades, 18 electoral votes. Donald Trump is the projected winner. Taking a look at our county and statewide map right now, Donald Trump has a very strong lead over the vice president right now with 80% of precincts reporting, enough for us to characterize this race as being for Donald Trump. Whereas in the state of Virginia, 13 electoral votes, a little bit more solid of a margin for Vice President Biden here. Right now with 51% of the votes statewide, 88% of precincts reporting, 13 electoral votes added to the Joe Biden column. We have some projections to make in the U.S. Senate. In the state of Mississippi, the first ever female senator representing the state of Mississippi, Cindy Hyde-Smith. And in the state of Colorado, this is a Senate race here, John Hickenlooper, a gain for the Democratic Party in the United States Senate from the state of Colorado. In the United States House of Representatives, we have some projections at this hour in Georgia's 6th Congressional District, notable for their 2017 special election in which Karen Handel ran and won, ended up losing to Lucy McBath in the 2018 midterm elections, currently too close to call with a difference of around 3,000 votes. The incumbent McBath currently leading at 51%. In Georgia's 7th Congressional District, neighboring the 6th, right now it looks like around an exact tie with a difference of 1,000 votes with the Democrats in the upper hand. State of Missouri, Mike Parson, the Republican incumbent, will win re-election to a second term as governor of Missouri. And in the state of Delaware, Democratic incumbent John Carney will also win re-election as Delaware governor. However, in the state of New Hampshire, Republican incumbent Chris Sununu faces off against Andrew Volinsky. This race is too close to call.